Leo, this will be uh, Frampton's second fight in that division. Do you expect him to be stronger, maybe faster? What do you expect from Frampton on your behalf? Uh, I, think, yeah, I think it's going to be you know, the same. He's you know, it's pretty, pretty, it's been like six months since the last fight, so I think maybe maybe a little bit stronger, you know, but we, we prepare for everything, you know. Uh, we're sparring bigger guys than us in the sparring and everything, so that way when we face Crawford, it'll be the same or even you know, better. I think that we're sparring with people that are really fast, stronger, heavier than me and everything, so that Crawford then will be no different. Mentally, your father's illness affected you in that fight. Why was his illness able to affect you over your brothers? Because you fought many years yeah. with your brother. Your brother was ill as well. But what was yeah. the difference there? I don't know the difference was that you know my for my brother, he he was just like he not part like he didn't train me. And my brother, my dad, he's always in the gym, you know, pressure me. If we're doing a punch wrong, if I'm dropping my hand, he tell me to pick it up. And he's my trainer, you know, he's like, he's the one that, the smart, the one, the, the one with the brain in the camp. If he sees any mistake, he tell me to correct it, or, or he, he tell me, he, he slashed me, or tell me, put you dropping your hand, or if I'm doing something wrong, he tells me. So I think that's what affected, you know, that there was nobody in the camp to tell me what I was doing wrong, or how to fight to fight from then I think that was the way it me. Just feel free to join in. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Leo. Yeah. Um, this is Jay from Black Sports Online. Now going into this fight, you know, you're freed from some of the things that were distracting you from the last Like, Talk a little bit about your mind state now going into this fight versus the previous fight. Yeah, no, of course, this fight, you know, I'm more relaxed. You know, my dad's cancer, he's already in remission. They told us he's 100% remission. He's been there in my camp. 100%, you know, pushing me, telling me what to do. And I feel, you know, confident that for this camp, we're going to go out there. I know that I still, it's, it's, the fight is going to be really hard, you know, a hard fight because Farm, Farm, Farm is a great fighter and everything. But we feel we're more ready for this fight. You know, we're more mentally and physically ready than the first fight. So if the first fight was pretty, you know, really close, I think for this fight, you know, we have we would take it by, you know, even if it's going to be a close fight again, but we, we're looking that this fight, we're going to win it. Every fight you come into the fight in shape, but now we're still almost three weeks out from the fight. You look like you're ready to fight today. What has been different in your physical preparation for this fight? Uh, you know, I've been giving a hundred percent every day. You know, I, uh, I'm already almost away. I'm only four pounds away. Like you say, I look. Yeah, I've been training hard. You know, for this camp, I motivated myself. You know, I pushed myself harder. Even in my head, like I say, I want this rematch so badly. Uh, I want to go out there and prove the other fans that don't believe in me no more, or that the people that say the car family is going to win me this time again. I want to prove them wrong that the first fight I wasn't there, and that this fight I want to go out there and show them that. I'm the better fighter and uh, I want to be the best.